South Korea's newly elected president is promising an audacious plan to strengthen North Korea's economy in exchange for denuclearization. Yoon suk yeol joined politics less than a year ago. He took the oath of office earlier today, ushering in the country's first conservative administration in five years. CNA's Lim Yun suk tells us more. President Yoon suk yeol walked to the ceremony from the main gate of the National Assembly, shaking hands with South Koreans who had waited hours for his arrival. He then took to the podium where he took the oath in front of more than 40,000 people to become the country's new president. He replaces outgoing President Moon Jae-in from the Liberal Party. Yoon sung yeol the prosecutor general turned president, said the country was faced with multiple crises referring to the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change and other economic and social issues. But as the new president, he said he was humbled by the awesome duty to lead the nation out of this crisis. He also touched on North Korea, which is believed to be preparing for a nuclear test very soon. Pyongyang has carried out 14 missile tests so far this year. The latest was last Saturday when it test fired a short range ballistic missile. In his speech at the National Assembly, he left the door open for dialogue with North Korea. That is, if North Korea denuclearizes. <laughs> But for most South Koreans who have now become accustomed to threats from North Korea, they'll be watching to see how he plans to unite the divided nation, narrow the widening wage gap, and kickstart the economy, which has slowed due to the pandemic. President Yoon addressed those issues in his speech, promising to turn them around. After the inauguration ceremony, President Yoon and First Lady Kim Gon hee were given a warm welcome outside the presidential office in Yongsan, which, under the previous administration, was the defense ministry. He had moved the presidential office to this one in Yongsan, calling the Blue House, which had been used by all his predecessors, a symbol of imperial power. Being a newcomer to politics after having spent about 26 years of his career as a prosecutor, he has a single term of five years ahead to lead this nation. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.